The purpose of this tip and trick is to have a look at an inventor finite element analysis of a assembly file. Um, we're going to be looking specifically at a front car seat lifter assembly, which is a weldment assembly. I'm just going to run a quick simulation. Um, going to turn off a couple of washes that I don't need, they're not relevant to the analysis, so I've excluded them and I've switched off their visibility. Now I'm going to add in some constraints, first off a fixed constraint and next off I'm going to put in a pin constraint on the one end and a pin constraint on the other end of the shaft. Right now I've got my fixed constraints in place, I'm going to be adding a force um, in this instance, I'm going to place a 250 Newton force going in a negative Z direction. And I'm going to place that on both of the corresponding fixing points. Okay. I'm now going to automatically calculate all of the contacts. Right, you'll see my contacts have now been generated and they're all shown as bonded. I want to change a few of these from bonded to a sliding no contact. So I'm going to go edit them and change them, sorry, sliding no separation. Right, that's been changed. You'll see they're now listed. I'm going to generate a mesh. Again, this is all real time. Right, my mesh is generated. I do have several meshing options, but I'm not going to look at those in this instance. And I can basically run my simulation. Um, I'm running the simulation in real time, so to give you an idea of the speed of the solver that we're using. You can see the simulation is pretty much done already. And there it is, simulation run. Right, we have a bunch of results we can go and have a look at. Um, just listed over there, so I have one Mises stress, our first principal stress. Um, and in particular, if we wanted to go and have a look at, say, what our uh, maximum stress would be, we can go and switch that on. So there's my maximum stress, with a little probe pointing to the actual maximum stress area. Again, I can show my minimum stress the same way. I can then go and look at my safety factor. Show you my minimum and maximum safety factor. So you can see I've got a maximum of 15, but a minimum of only 0.95. So my design obviously needs a little bit of review. And I can then generate a report. Um, I've just included everything in this report. So it's going to run through the entire model, um, look at each one of the results that was created during the analysis and it's going to just put all of those into an HTML report for me. I'm just going to let that generate, it takes a few seconds. Right, we're almost done. And there it is. Okay, so you'll see that an analysis has been created. Um, just got to go in and allow the block content to quickly in your Internet Explorer. I'm just giving the specifying an image width. And then you can run through and each one of the reports that you generated or each one of the results that you generated will have a corresponding picture and a table showing the actual results.